Center is announcing changes to its policy for housing asylum seekers. WGN's Dana Revick is live now at City Hall with an update tonight. Dana. Well, Mayor Johnson, along with more than two dozen faith leaders, city aldermen and health officials uh, came together in the uh, this press conference just a bit ago where he announced major changes to the city's shelter stay policy. Now, initially starting this Thursday, February 1st, Chicago was supposed to begin enforcing its 60 day shelter stay limit, evicting nearly 2000 migrants to make room for other asylum seekers in the city's existing 28 shelters. Today, Mayor Johnson announced he will not begin those evictions as planned. Instead, more than 5,600 migrants who had an original exit date of January 16th to February 29th will get a 60-day extension. More than 2,100 with an exit date of March 1st to March 28th will have a 30-day extension from their planned exit date. And new arrivals coming into Chicago starting today will get the standard 60-day notice. In addition, nearly 6,000 who arrived between August 1st and November 16th, 2023 are now eligible for the state's three month rental assistance program, and they will be getting 60 day exit notices starting February 1st. The emergency shelter system was built on the premise that shelter stays would be short term as we work with our county, state, federal and nonprofit partners to help new arrivals develop a plan and get on their feet. Well, what's driving it is that we also want to make sure that we are doing our um, due diligence to be responsible stewards of our resources. And before we implemented this policy, and Commissioner Kanazi, you know, she could speak to it eloquently, there were still people in shelter from 2022. I think the reality is he's just trying to find Last week, Mayor Brandon Johnson made a plea to the state to do more to help with the migrant crisis after Governor J.B. Pritzker said he was, quote, deeply concerned that Chicago is not planning to add more shelter beds. Johnson saying the state had committed to providing 2,200 beds, while a spokesperson for the governor said that they were waiting for the city to identify shelter locations. Now, we'll have much more on that back and forth between Governor Pritzker and Mayor Johnson coming up at 6 o'clock. And meanwhile, tomorrow morning in city council, there will be a committee meeting on immigrant and refugee rights. They will be holding this hearing on shelter conditions and be seeking testimony from OEMC, the office of the mayor, as well as favorite health care. Uh, we'll be covering that tomorrow as well. Live at City Hall, Dana Rebic, WGN News. Thank you, Dana.